Next to face the dragons is Jonathan Astor from London. Now he's making a good living from his business, but he wants £100,000 from the dragons to turn it into something much bigger. Remember, he has to get at least that amount or he goes away with nothing. Um, my name is Jonathan Astor. Um, I'm here to present my company, The Ambient All Stars. Um, I set up my company three and a half years ago um, off the back of just an idea that just came to me. Um, that idea was simply advertising on the back of courier bikes, uh, predominantly in the London area. And I was one of the first, first people to advertise on smart cars, using it as a media. Naturally, um, being an innovator and an entrepreneur, um, I've enjoyed working within ambient media. Ambient media is the generic term for anything that's deemed to be innovative, creative um, and non-traditional. One final piece is something that I'm developing as a clean ad. This idea here is quite simple in the terms that we take a stencil, we place it on a street, we apply um, a high pressure hose over it, we remove the stencil and by, 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 by lifting dirt off the street, we leave an impression on the street. So it becomes an environmentally friendly advertisement. I'm looking for investment to really take this company and project it onto the marketplace as one of the most innovative, non-traditional niche media specialists in the UK. Jonathan wants £100,000 to build his offbeat advertising agency. And in return, he's offering 15% of the company. Jonathan, hi, I'm Rachel. Hi. The immediate thing, having dealt with lots of creative agencies and media planning ones, they're notoriously difficult to scale, aren't they? Because they're all about ideas and innovation. The investment, therefore, is in you, and I'm just struggling to see what the investment opportunity is. You're right, it does, uh, it, it does centre around me at this minute in time. A large part of the investment will go towards creative support. In five years' time, what I want to do is, is selling off a very niche crack team within ambient media to a large media group. Mm. So the knowledge will be passed on. At the moment... Um, it's, it's not about knowledge though, is it, Jonathan? It's about creative innovation. So if you go under a bus, there's a, there's a serious problem. It's an immediate problem. I mean, I, I didn't plan for being run over by a bus. Answering back to Rachel Elnor is not the best way to win investment. Unlike Jonathan, she thinks a business based entirely on his creative ideas is high risk. Duncan Bannatyne has different questions. Hi, Jonathan. Hi. 2004, turnover and profit? Um, is £125,000. Profit on that is £65,000. Turnover £125,000, made £65,000. Was that before your wages or after your wages? That, that is something that I've taken um, as my salary. Right. Were there any employees? Did you employ anybody no. else? No. Jonathan, where are we going with this? I mean, you're a one-man band. The salary that you've earned over the last uh, three years is way, way below what uh, a senior executive in an agency would be earning anyway. I, 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 I'm, sure, I'm sure that's not right. the, the, the central point of what you're trying no. to say. I, I don't agree with that, but, but, but maybe well, that's not your but, point. But, but, well, uh, sorry. Well, please agree with it, because until recently I owned a very successful one, so I know what I was paying my people. Sure, of course. Right, so I know exactly what they were earning. They would have been earning a lot more than this. Now. Cars have been around, taxis have been around. I was advertising on cars and taxis 1990, 91. Sure. So it's not new. I'm not I, sure I, I, where I, we're going with it. What, what you've got that's other than I'm Jonathan, I'm a great guy, back me. I appreciate your point on the age of salaries. If you own an agency, you're aware of salaries, so I apologise for that. Um, I still don't agree with it, but that's, that's, that's totally irrelevant. In terms of, of, of the, the, in terms of the actual concept here, it's not taxi advertising, different. It is a transport media and serves a similar purpose, but it's not that. You, you can frown and, and, and pull a face at it. I would never ever pull that face because I have confidence in, in, in what I've started. But that, that, that doesn't mean I don't respect your opinion. I do. I'm just trying to be fair, f fair with you. Do, do, do not respect my opinion. No, right. sure. I, I don't, don't right. want to come across as no. confrontational no. with you because, no. because I, I, I respect your opinion. Uh, listen, not a problem, mate. Fine. That's no, good. No, so, not, not a problem. Let me finish. Sure. Not a problem. Right. I would rather stick pins in my eyes and invest in this. So on that basis, I'm out. Yeah, in which case, considering that's your term of speaking, I don't want to be rude 
to you. I don't think that's the way to conduct. I wouldn't want you to, to work with you. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy to rule you out, but I wish you best of luck in what you're Likewise. Doing. Jonathan's refusal to accept any criticism has antagonised Theo Pafitis. With one dragon already out, will Doug Richard follow suit? Jonathan, fundamentally, I have absolutely no idea how this would translate into a scalable investment. Okay. Period. I, I, literally, I, I cannot imagine how. And the exit opportunity is selling a team of people, notoriously hard to do, um, and I don't see how I'd ever make money on it, so I, I'm, I won't invest. I think that's a, I think that's a far more pleasant way of, of, of responding to that, and, and, and I appreciate your comments. Jonathan is losing the Dragons rapidly. Can he persuade Duncan Bannatyne, Rachel Elnor, or Peter Jones to put in the £100,000 he needs? If there was a choice of sticking pins and needles in my eyes or investing in you, I would invest in you. But if it's a choice between standing in the shower and letting the money drip away and investing in you, I'd be stuck and wouldn't know which way to go. I mean, you're a one-man band. And even the one man in the band fights with everybody who's considering an investment in them. I, 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 I cannot agree. As I mentioned before, I don't mean to be confrontational, but, but at the end of the day... You are confrontational, whether you mean to be or not. And that's the reason I wouldn't invest in you or your company. It, it, that, that, that's fine with me. Determined to stand his ground, Jonathan is alienating the dragons one by one. Can he keep himself in check with Rachel Elnor and Peter Jones? Uh, I'm Peter. Um, Hi, Peter. I'm, I'm pleased to say that you've uh, you've clearly dressed up for the occasion today. Um, it obviously means a lot to you to be here. Which, which it does. Um, and dressing like that certainly doesn't appeal to me. So first off, you, you've already instantly got my back up, which only means one thing. It means that unless you've got a fantastic business and a great pitch, you're not going to get me in. And, and what you haven't got is a great pitch. You've given nothing away that actually would suggest that you've got a business here that's going to make money, apart from perhaps feather your own cap and put money in your pocket, which clearly you need because you, you couldn't afford a suit today. I'm, I'm not used to ignore that comment. I think it's, it's, it's nonsensical. It doesn't... It, it has it's no, nonsensical. i tell you it, what... It goes, it, goes, it, goes, it goes right through me. Let, but, but, well, but, well, let me explain to you that it's not nonsensical for one reason and one reason only. I'm not asking you for money. You're asking me for money. And had you known that it's about presentation for Peter Jones, to get my first interest... That's how I gauge it. Because you get one chance and one chance only, and you blew it for me. I I'm, I'm, don't want to be judged for my clothes that I wear. Uh, it's how I live my life. OK. You haven't given me anything that's innovative. I can't see the business ever making money. I'm not going to invest in you today. That's fair enough. Thank you. Jonathan, it, this isn't an investment, is it? You are a creative innovator, and there are loads of really small, successful agencies or medium-sized agencies, and, and really that's your niche. But this isn't an investment proposition, and I think that's, that's the problem today. No, I, that's fair enough. So I, I'm out, I'm afraid. It's all over for Jonathan, who endured one of the most savage confrontations yet in the dragon's den. That guy is prickly. He's Talk prickly. about... But that's his world. That's how but they all have, are in that he's world. It's just his world. His world's the world of business. He's when got you tell clients. him something he disagrees with... And, Can you imagine and him saying that to the client? ...tells you you're wrong and you know but for a fact. But that's how they are. That's yeah. how they're like with the clients. Yeah. Rachel, believe it or not, I've actually spent a little bit on marketing and advertising in my life. And, you know, some of them are better than him. <laughs> Well, you didn't get the money, obviously. It was quite a prickly confrontation, really, wasn't it? I don't mean to obviously come across confrontation. Obviously, I've got the greatest respect for, 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 for five very successful people. But there's no reason why I should sell myself short, because, because they, 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 they shouldn't really intimidate me by something that I feel to be irrelevant. So when you answered Theo back, how, what were you feeling? Were you cross? Were you, were you in control at that stage? I wasn't feeling at all angry or violent. I'm not an angry or violent person. I didn't feel anything. I, ju I just felt... That just seems the right thing to say. Now, yeah. I, I looked him in the eye and I just wanted, to, wanted him to, to, to know that even though I respect his opinion, I've got a, a big respect for what I do.